All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about good corner detection in OpenCV using Python. So we will start off by saying what it is, why do we need it, how does it work, and jump right into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we will see how we could detect uh, good corners in an image using a sequence of steps. So what is good corner detection? The idea is, um, so previously we looked at Harris corners, uh, but in general, there's a lot of different steps you could do to try to find the best corners in an image using some steps. So when we say good, usually what we mean is like a strong corner or maybe the response is really good, um, depending on which method you're using. So why do we need good corner detection? Uh, it's good because you want it to be robust for like feature detection or calibration pattern. And usually, so sometimes you'll have a lot of noise and maybe it's susceptible to that. So that could be another factor. So how does a good corner detection work? The idea is uh, you could typically use two scoring methods. So I think a lot of people incorrectly compare Harris corners with uh, like the good corner detection method. Uh, but in general, you could, um, using a good corner detection, you could use both Harris corner, which we talked about previously, or the Shi Tomasi, um, which really relies on the idea of using the minimum eigenvalue as the response. So I would say the key step um, is the steps after that. So this is the basic step for corner detection, but it's really what you do after the response to that. So typically you'll do some non-maximum suppression to find the best peak in the region. And then some additional things that this function does is called the quality level and it rejects bad corners. So the idea, the idea is you will have some quality measure and some quality level, and then values less than the product of that, which is the acceptable quality measure, are rejected. And there's like a minimum distance filter. If some things are too close, it'll be rejected. Okay, so let's go into the coding. Okay, so as usual, let's go ahead and import the modules that we will need. So we have import cv2 as cv, and then import matplotlib.py uh, plot as plt, and import numpy as mp, and import os. So we have, we call this good corner, good corner uh, detection here. And we have our if name equals main. Uh, called good corner detection. So inside of here, we have root equals os dot get cwd, and then we have our image path equals os dot, dot path dot join, and we'll pass in roots and demo images, tesla dot jpeg. So here we have image equals cv dot read, and we'll pass in our image path. Then we have image rgb equals cv dot cvt color. Uh, image cv dot color um, bgr to rgb, and then here we have image gray equals cv dot cvt color, and then image cv dot color bgr to gray. Okay, so that's that's our images, and we're going to define something called max corners. Is the number the max number of corners we want to detect. And we'll have some quality level that we'll set to 0 0.01. And then our min distance is 20. Okay, so here we're gonna define, use our function. So corners equals CV dot, the actual function is called good features to track. And you'll pass in your grayscale image, your max corners. And the quality level, which we call quality, and then the min distance. And that will be all. So what this is gonna return is an array of all the corners it has found. So if you recall when we just did Harris corners, it actually gave you a full heat map of what's happening. But here it has done the non-maximal suppression and um, like thresholding and getting rid of the bad ones. So it's just gonna return the actual pixel location. So here we have four corner in corners and we have T equals, uh, that one we're not using. So we have X equals int 
and we'll pass in corner. So here we have zero, the way the array is indexed, we have to do it this way. So zero and one, and this will be our Y. So here we have cv.circle. We wanna draw circles in our image. And then here we're gonna pass in the X and Y coordinate, the radius, we're gonna choose 10. And then the color, we're gonna do 255 for red. And we want to fill it up. Okay, so here we have plt.figure, plt.show, um, and we'll pass in RGB, then plt.show. Okay, so if I go ahead and run this, we should see the good corners that it will detect. Okay, so you can see there's also some on the trees. I would say the really the ones that really stand out is the ones that physically look like corners to me. So like here, for example, these all kind of look like reasonable corners. Um, this one, I don't know why, but the Tesla logo, it picked up some corners. So that's pretty good. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.